Hello, and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Veriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor, and we're still under the eaves of Pangorn. You might remember on the last episode we came to this meadow, where we found a, what seems to be the last end we need to wake up, or at least try. This is Old Heart. This end has let his roots grow along in a beautiful meadow out of the shadow of the Black Heart, but his eyes show that he is deeply worried about something. You should speak with the end and see if he has any memories to impart upon you so that you may be of some assistance. You have the sensation of recalling a memory that is not your own. As Old Heart's memory unfolds, you feel long, long years of loneliness fluttering away as a tiny bird hops about the grass, peeping and cheeping away. You see a tiny bird flitting around in Old Heart's vivid memory, chirping happily away as it hops about. This memory fills you with painful worry. Why is the bird in a memory and not here in the flesh? The warrior's Old Heart. This bird is his friend. He clearly wants you to find his little bird. And uh, we'll do of course everything we can. We get a look at the, the good old fellow. Yeah, it's <laughs> God, it is difficult to get a good picture of a bird, but, but still, worth trying. The is worried terribly about a tiny bird. It will certainly be interesting to try to find one bird in the largest forest that you have ever set foot in. Old Har is evidently quite sentimental about his bird friend who nested with him this year. He has not seen the little bird for some days, and he has grown worried, for the bird was hard at work building a nest. Mmm, mmm. The ant creaks nervously, but says nothing more. The ant is missing his little bird friend, and wondering whether it could have disappeared for such a long time. This seems like a good opportunity for you to go on a little bird watching adventure. An incredible hill stands east of Old Heart. You should be able to see quite far from the top of it. Ah, oh, didn't see you there. Yeah, for a moment it seems like we are back in the plains of Rohan, but as you can see from the map, that's not the case. We are really deep in the apes of Pangorn. But it does look like we're back in the plains, like we are in the borders of the forest. No wonder why Old Har goes to settle in this place. Found a good vantage point. There are no birds inside. There are no birds inside by the side. Oh my god, the side. So, once again, here we can get some glimpses of a Willermore. That construction over there is that of the stat crops? Has to be, or maybe, uh, maybe even the Broad Acres in West Rohan. Uh, but here, Wildermoor, once again, this is the Balewood, which is another area of Fangorn that we'll get the chance to visit at some point. Um, but for now, we'll need to continue bird watching. On a good vantage point. There are no birds inside, but an awkward looking fog rises from the trees beyond. Now yeah, we're looking in the wrong direction, but there is a fog.
Oh, yeah. I do remember this quest, of course, the moment we uh, found Old Heart in this meadow. Because uh, this is the quest line that I remember the most from the East of Fang Grenade. It's really deep, in my opinion. I always look forward to this one. You tell Old Heart of the accurate looking fog you saw rising from the east behind where he stands. You are no birds, but perhaps this fog is worth an investigation. The end gives you a slow and silent stare, his eyes filled to the brim with concern. You should investigate the source of the unwholesome mist lingering above the treetops, for it creeps awfully close to this fine meadow where Old Heart has set his roots. And of course, the moment uh, you you witness Old Heart's memory and see the bird, you can pretty much see where this is going. But it it doesn't take away the fact that it's very well done and it manages to hit the strings it needs to hit. The enemies in this part of the forest bear the mark of Saruman. You wish to expose the wizard's fall to evil to anyone who will take notice, and thus collect tokens of proof as you slay his minions. File pawn. Found a pawn, fit to look upon, but how to smell. Orcs have settled here. A white hand roams in Fangorn, polluting and corrupting all that it touches. The servants of Saruman should be slain to the very last. And the pawn needs to be cleansed as well. Ah! Pile of orc refuses made up of Horrors you don't want to imagine. Yeah, I can imagine. I've been to Isengard, been a prisoner in there, clan this kind of things. I know exactly what this is. This corpse has been dumped unceremoniously into the water. This un unidentifiable goop has a horrific odor. Yeah, I can't imagine. <laughs> Wonder, can we can we get a, a look of the defile pond? Yeah, that's it. Horrors you don't want to imagine. Ah! Uru. We sh we really shouldn't be swimming <laughs> on this pond, uh, but what can you do?
No, we need to get three more scouts, two more Uruks. Black Arrow. Could die. And of course, here is what we were looking for all along. The little bird. Old Heart's friend. The tiny bird has died from the fumes of the Orcs' field. Old Heart's little bird friend is dead. You have found a great deal of filth from this lovely horde of Orcs and Uruks who have gathered temporarily in this sector of Fangorn. This poor pond is polluted beyond recognition. The water is not water but poison. The servants of the White Hand are cruel in even their carelessness. We only need to get one more Uruk before we go back to Old Har with the sad news. You have done well to obey the spread of Saruman's most destructive forces in Fangorn, but the damage cannot be undone. This was an act of revenge, and revenge alone. Ah, oh, come on. The end starts with some shock at the burdens you present. Oh, oh my. Old Heart understands. Old Heart's eyes are hopeful as you return from your search for his tiny friend. It will not be easy to break this news to him. It is time to tell Old Heart of what you found out about the fate of his bird friend. You have finally had some measure of success, for Old Heart seems quite awake for the first time in an age. But you are filled with trepidation, for some great power has woken with him. You feel it in your very bones. Oh, and this makes me excited, of course, yeah. Scared, but excited as well. You are tempted to lie to Old Heart to spare the end his feelings, but it will not do. Those keen eyes will see through it at once. You gently relay your tale of Old Heart, of the Orcs of Saruman, the solid water, and the little victim. A bird that did nothing but pass and wading through the cloud of death that creeps upon all the lands of Middle Earth. Dead. All creatures die, but this, this I must be. Come, small one. Small one indeed. And are huge. Oh yeah. Old Arum works approach, small one. Well, you can also fight, you know, you're very welcome to join the fight. 
It was the entire point of all this. Wretched creatures. Um. Old heart stops at the edge of the polluted pond. Where is my little friend? I must see. The ant rumbles softly as he searches for a voice that has not oft been used for many years. Um, where is my little friend? Please bring him to me. Old heart speaks, his voice slow from disuse, but the tone of sadness is unmistakable. I don't like this either, old heart. You can you can trust me on this. You have picked up old heart's fallen friend, and now hell is about to break loose. But you brought this upon yourselves. The ant stares down at the bird's lifeless body. A strange expression plays across his eyes. I see. has awakened at last. If you don't mind, I'm gonna get a good angle for for this carnage. <laughs> Old Heart stops at the edge of the pond and turns around expectantly. And take a look at this. Who do we have here? Violas, Wisewood, Ashley, Greenroot. These are the dead orcs, but all the ends have awakened. We did it! We did it! And Elf is gonna be so happy, so proud. They are coming. There will be revenge. There will be justice. Orcs will pollute the eaves of Fangor no more. The end's eyes now burn with a fire that fills you with fear. Fear, admiration and awe. It is good to be a friend of the ends and not an enemy. Oh yeah. yeah that is absolutely true. Yeah, I think this deserves another celebration as well, of course. Your little bird friend is dead and we cannot remedy that and that is a tragedy. But the ants have awoken and that is something that needs to be celebrated as well because this mark the end of an era. You have done enough. Little warden, the ants will take over from here. We cannot slumber while our forest is corrupted by the filth of Saruman. <laughs> so happy. Okay, so 
Leof Mar, oh no, All Heart is awakened. The ants are awakened. They will take care of Fangor now, and that means we can return to Leof Mar on the outskirts of Fangor, and I think this will give us the perfect chance to use the boat that we found along the river on our way in because that should be a shortcut to, to the fishing camp where Leofmar resides. You might remember as well, a few episodes ago we found him, we provided him the antidote for his poison, we sent him on his way across the fishing camp. And, and now Leofmar should be sending us to the South Crop and his town of Karsfeld. Ah, jeez. Yeah, would you take a look at this, just a moment. If you don't mind, little fly, I, I, I just want... Some pictures of the scenery. If you are so eager to die. Uh. Who am I to stop you from dying? If that's what you want. What else we got in here? Something else. Let us try it in and uh, follow the river. Three birds heal. Okay, we were really close. Yeah, that's it for Deeps of Pangorn. It's a really small area, well, in comparison to the, the areas in East Rohan. Um, about 45 to 50 quests give a poor take, but, but really, really fun. Especially that last part with. Um, Old heart, eh, his bird friend who died, eh, the ants awakening thanks to our efforts. So once again, the moment you see the bird in old heart's memory, you can tell where this is gonna go uh, with eh, the corruption in the forest, the destruction brought by Saruman's works, uh, the death of the bird, and the eventual awakening of the ants. Uh, because, on the other hand, well, we, we also need to build upon um, that moment in the books, the, the last march of the end. But, but even then, the very first time I played this, let me tell you, finding the corpse of that bird, having to tell Old Heart about it, it was so heartbreaking that when the when the ends awakened. It was such a big satisfaction. Now entering the end wash bale, yeah. We are right here at the vision camp. Great. What business have you with the Rohirrim? Verasan, I was beginning to think I had imagined that I met you. How good it is to see you again! I will have you know that I am feeling much better and I have found my courage after all. I slew many orcs as I made my way off out of Fangorn to repay that kindness of that... creature. Or was it a vision? It all felt like a dream. But I am braver now, and I have lent my bow to these fine men as well. Someday I will return to Garsfeld and restore my honor there. Boots of new beginnings. Oh my god, this... Boots? The, these boots are really cool, but I don't know if you will get the chance of getting a rope like this. And I want to get a rope like this because it, for a long time, it, this was the closest to a Citadel Guard outfit that you could get with a white tray on it. And of course, we now have more options, but who knows, maybe I can do something with this. 
A uh, new title has been bestowed upon you. You may now be known as Bergathon Three Herder. You have herded the three herders themselves, and the tide of change has begun to rise in Fangorn. Oh yeah! Will you aid the Rohirrim? Listen, Bergathon. There is a matter of no small importance that I must share with you. To the south, in the Sutcroft, is my homeland. I come from Garsfield, a town of proud crofters, and for reasons of my own, I now find myself here. Garsfield faces now more challenges than it has ever in the past. The Thane Gisel is a strong warrior, one of the strongest I have known, but even he cannot hold forever. I would ask that you travel to Garsfield in the Sutcrofts and aid them in any way you can. I will return in my own time. You have my thanks, Varyathan. Yeah, of course I'm gonna go there, but first let me talk to um, the Forge Master. What do we have here? Light damage. And uh, more light damage. We are about 5000 XP to level up. Do I have any runes in here that I can that I can use? Let us use this on this a uh, sword of the third age. Your aid is welcome, friend. Give me short you're dead. No. What a dilemma. Um because this uh, sword is level 81. And I don't think this one, or maybe it will, give us uh, Let us try and do that. Let us try and do that really quick. Um, Morale, uh, security, and uh, avoidance, defense, avoidance. Let us take this. Now, let us equip. Let us equip. Where where is that sword? Let us equip this. With this, and now let us try to deconstruct and well met, my friend. This on the first hand, and this one on the other. We're gonna take the 40 of death damage over time. What do we got here? Some settings, relic, the legacy, a very good rune. Ah, yes, we can do this. I might regret this, but no, let us let us do this. And we're gonna switch this for ambush critical rating, which is not very useful to us right now. And now let us try and see if we can max out 40 of death. My damage. DPS. Okay. Mirrors. Um, you might remember as well that we do have some e warbands of the Endwash Veil vale that we have not faced yet, but they are very hard to make fun, so. Hopefully mirrors will stay there while we advance the epic. We need to find Hurudan it is. Horn. 
We need to talk to Horn. Aylmer and his men are still here. I spoke with him briefly. Aylmer and his men are still here, Bregathan. I spoke with him briefly and he said we were welcome to make the southward journey with him. He has a few places he would like to stop on the way including, well, including the Stone of Wirganda. Horn sacks heavily. Do you remember, Bregathan? It was the story I told you by that campfire and our journey by boat down the Anduin with Furudan and with Nona. King Fengal and his line were cursed. No heir of Fengal's line would survive to sit long upon the throne of Rohan. Many thought that the curse had been broken by Prince Theodred, but it seems it was not so. Eomer wishes to visit the stone and you must understand why. With the prince dead, he as Theoden's nephew is now next in line for the throne. He is of King Fengal's line and the curse must now be ever in his thoughts. Speak to him, but gently. Who can know what it must be like to live under such a curse? Tone of Burgen though, okay. So that's our next stop. What a strange tale you weave. Did you learn anything about your friends from the side where we destroyed the Uruks? Eomer listens to your account and marvels particularly at your description of Boldwark. What a strange tale you weave, Bregathan, to think such peculiar things persist under the light of the sun in these days. Tell me when you are ready to depart and my men will be ready. There are a few sites that we'd have us visit on our way south to Snowborn and from there we will go to Edoras. You are welcome to ride with my men and I on our southward road. But there is one place I have planned to stop before we reach Snowborn. Have you heard of Wirganda's Thorn? It is involved in a tale of Rohan and I am quite interested in seeing it again. I have business in Snowborn, but first I would see Wirganda's Stone. Will I next fall to the Crone's Curse? Well. Hope we get the answers you are looking for in here, Lord Eomer. Um, there it lies, Berathan, the Stone of Wirganda. Do you know the tale? Eomer seems surprised to hear that you have been told the tale of Wirganda, the Crone, and King Fengal, but then realization dawns. Ah, of course you would know it. How could you travel with a bard such as Horn and not know it? It is a popular tale, though it be grim and unpleasant. I expect it is true in all lands. The people enjoy stories that seem to explain their poor lot or continued hardship. The Mark's finest lore masters poured over the words of Wirganda's course. They read it thus that no stone born of Fengal or his heirs would survive to sit long upon the throne. They thought the curse would end if something happened to restore the lost glory of Rohan. It was thought for many years that Wirganda's curse had already expired. My uncle's father, Thengel, lived in Gondor and the lords of Rohan called a Witan and begged him to return to the Mark and take the throne. They said he was virtuous enough and would be such a good king that his reign was certain to end the curse. Indeed, Thengel lived long and his son Theoden now has many years behind him. It seems now, with the death of Prince Theodred, that the curse merely slumbered. Perhaps it did not affect Thengel or my uncle because they were already born, or because they were not in the reader mark when it was said. None but Burgenda can know, and she is long dead. The curse that did not affect Thengel did affect his daughters, and few of their sons survived to reach adulthood. I am of the line of King Thengel, brother son. Will the curse of Burgenda now affect me? Am I fated to die and Rohan to suffer? Will all I seek to accomplish come to naught? The deeds of the past often have grave effects on the present, Bryathan. 
curses have power, and with the force of belief behind them, they can become even more powerful. How else can the misfortune of Fengal's line be explained? And how will knowledge of the curse affect Eomer's actions now? The people of Rohan need him to be strong. He cannot cower in fear of Wirganda's memory, or his people will suffer. I had been so certain that the curse was broken, as had been all of Rohan. What must it be like to labor beneath the shadow of such a thing and never know when it will reveal its fangs? If Eomer out of fear refuses to fight the evils that face our land, then King Fengal's grit will have struck death blow for Rohan. We're under attack! Man top and slay them all! Okay, we dismounted him. That's great. these guys are there. Okay, they are defeated, yeah. Can we continue now? What do we have in here? Is Eomer back at the stone? Yeah. Okay, we can finish now, but before we do so... First of all, a few pictures of this, but we can also talk to Brewerd. The Stone of Wurgand is a place of great sorrow for the people of Rohan and for its kings. What can you tell me of this stone? This is the Stone of Wurganda, and it is a place of sorrow for the people of Rohan. The greed of King Fengal doomed his line, and the kingdom has languished in the years since he crossed path to the Kronwurganda. 
The runes on the stone bear a long study, and that is what I have given them. But the carved runes are so high. There is much that is unusual in the old tales. That is the way of such things. What does the inscription read? Would you like to hear the curse of Wirgand as it was written in the runes? I have dedicated my life to the study of such things, and I'm pleased to share it with others. This is what it sounds like aloud. Hidik Fengel, Wanhogai, the hate. Nornung skill beats Leknyang. Oh, I can't think readingness. Nan reckon thin read fighting long give it. Kill Nan stun skill and thin soul set it. Kinan kingdom thin crafian the aquela da hef. Of that myth Marxes and Wingdays Wirganda. I'm sorry for butchering old English. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. Lovely, is it not? If you say so. But the meaning is anything but lovely, of course. Feckless Fengal. Fool, I name thee. Grief shall be the get of thy greed. No lord of your line shall long live. Upon thy seat no sun shall settle. In and kingdom your craving hath killed. Until the might of the mark is mended. The means of breaking the curse is unknown. But it is widely believed that only once the kingdom of Rohan is able to achieve the greatness it had of old. Will the curse be broken. Interesting indeed. Oh yeah, there are more runes up. No, no, that's grass. The orcs have unwittingly helped me very often. During the battle, I had not thought at all for Wirganda or her curse. I have made mad my mind. I will not allow the curse of Wirganda to control my actions. I am my own man, Eomun's son. And I do not fear the memory of ill deeds done or vengeance sought. I will fight for the people of Rohan until I no longer can do so, and even then I will keep fighting. I have given Wurgand at the time I thought she was due, and now I put the stone behind me and will think of it no more. Onward to Snowborn. We are needed. We are needed in Snowborn. We will not delay. So here we are, we were dropped at the stone of Wirganda in between the Endwash Vale and the Satrap. We need to talk to Eomer. Thank you for your help, friend. I am glad to have you and your companions as allies when danger strikes. Orcs and works are the type of danger I am not afraid to face. Threats of a more otherworldly nature, those I cannot abide. Still, Eomund's son will face such dangers which as bold a heart as he can manage. The boulder still with allies such as you at his side. I am ready to continue our ride south to Snowborn if you are. I am ready to continue our ride south to Snowborn if you are. I ordered with Fastred to empty his lands, sending his people across the Endwash where they can be better defended, but he is young and I fear foolish. I ride to see if he has obeyed my command. We will speak again in Snowborn. And yes, once again, that's where uh, the epic next take us. But uh, Garsfeld is is just nearby, so we can as well drop by and and uh, present our respect to Thangizil. And that way, we will also begin our adventures in the Zadkrafts. Discovered Garsfeld, yeah. Uh, we have Table Master. Friend. Uh, we have the Milestone. We now can access the Meat Hall and talk to the Thane. 
This is a really nice meat hole as well. You did very well. Welcome to Garsfeld, stranger. I am Gisil, Thane of Garsfeld. I must say that I find myself impressed that you managed to make your way into our town alive. Many forces have besieged Garsfeld, and my men and I have struggled to keep them outside the walls. For such boldness, I will hear what you have to say. You relate your tale of Leovmar and your journey to the Sutcrofts. Leovmar? I have not seen him for some time now. No matter. He sent you here for good reason, and if you are to aid us, we must act quickly. Okay, indeed. Quest of the Sutcrofts. Sutcrofts? Sutcrofts? Anyway, we have this 40 quests in here. And this is the last one we need to complete the meta deed. Ancient Evil Slayer. Well, we have many slayers still that need to be completed. That's gonna take a while longer. I don't have any hopes of doing this. But anyway, let us talk to Gizil. It is no secret that Garsfeld has fallen on the very worst of times, Verathan. For my own part, I have struggled to keep the crofters from the enemies at our doorstep, and more importantly, from the panic that they are surely feeling. My son, Gisling, has taken a more active role in moving against our foes, but we fight a losing battle. If you would, speak with him. He may have views of you on the fields, and I am curious to know of any new thoughts he has for the days ahead. Tell me of yourself, Gizil. I am Gisil, Thane of Garsfeld. I have fought against the foes of Rohan through all of my life. Orc, Downlanding, Haradrim, none have escaped my spear. My elder brother, Dagrid, had long been reef of these lands until he was felled by the arrow of an orc and now his son, Pastred, rules Snowborn in his stead. I have grown weary with the king's decline and pray that he will return to his old ways soon, lest the mark be the worse for it. Tell me of your kin. Thank you for your help. My sons, Theor One and Gisling, have made me proud. Gisling, my eldest, remains at my side in Garsfeld and aids my people with all of his might. As for Theor One, he is betrothed to Thane Winsick of Walstow and serves Theoden King at Eldras, where, along with his duties, he waits for that wretch Grima to sleep in his deception. Glorious the day will be when that worm's head rests on a pike. What forces? But I think Garsfeld. Well. Indeed, my people face trying times. Outside Garsfeld, goblins and havorks of the White Hand have let our crops and fields in ashes. Now even Crevine pick at his wounds. I have not the men to spare to handle so many threats at once. What about you, Gisling? You to these lands. Greetings, Beryathan. Beryathan, was it? I am Gisling, son of Gisil. I am sorry for my father and an enthusiastic introduction, but dark days loom over Garsfeld. The half orcs stock our fields, Revine pick out the crops that still stand, and the orcs have pushed forth in the south. I am certain we can beat them back, but I know not how long we can hold against the tide. For now though, we should fight. Return to my father. I may be skillful in battle, but only because I learned from his valor through the years. He will surely have some thought on what our next move should be. Thank you for your help. Oh yes, Gislin is right. I have thoughts of my own on how to resolve this matter, but we have talked enough for now. Let us first aid the peoples of Garsfeld and push back against those that would surround us. Okay, and with this I think we can end today's episode. Join me next time and we will begin our adventures in Garsfeld, helping Gizil and Gisling. For the time being, thank you for watching today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all and I will see you later.